Good afternoon from Valley, everyone. It's Anifa Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, I wanted to talk about uh, kind of a broad concept. It's uh, about healing what's broken, is what I decided to title this. Healing what's broken. Now, some of you know that I've not been feeling so well for the past week. It was post malaria, and I had a fall, and lots of different things and so healing what's broken is just getting myself back on track physically for sure mentally emotionally thankfully i feel like there's been so many beautiful friendships and uh, family um, that have looked out for me and uh, whether they've sent uh, prayers or meditative energies to me or whether i truly thank god's grace that's coming through everything this is what i feel is helping this healing Yet, I did have an experience that uh, required me to go to the hospital, so it was the same experience. It's, uh, I just felt that, uh, am I missing something? I should probably get some blood work done, and that's what was recommended. And so I spent uh, some time with the doctor both here and uh, then in the hospital too, another doctor. And of course, the healthcare was, um, was very kind, very considerate and uh, did the best that they could for trying to help me and yes I got uh, a basic diagnosis of anemia which uh, apparently is what uh, made me pass out and um, but I've got that awareness is actually feeding this video today and I wanted to talk first about this quotation which says everybody has losses it's unavoidable in life Sharing our pain is very healing. Sharing our pain is very healing. Now what happened is sometimes because we've got mass media, we've got a lot of social media uh, abilities to get messages across, people start sharing their pain and is that healing and it's, it's actually the energy and the intention with which we share our pain. So for the purposes of getting some direction from healthcare. Of course, sharing our pain is necessary to share with the practitioners that are working with us. And then in terms of sharing with friends or family or acquaintances even, is literally just to be able to share that we all go through losses. And this is something that uh, many people moved into though, don't share anything, it's, it's, it's okay and you don't want people to know that you're not well. And I don't believe that. I believe that when we can do this from a space of authentic sharing as opposed to complaining, complaining is a very different energy. Complaining is a poor me, look at what I'm going through, look at uh, how difficult this is. And a lot of the world moved into that space and not only in health care itself, but also in terms of uh, office politics, in terms of friendships or relationships that were not so good and people moved into complaining and so today i wanted to talk about in terms of healing what's broken we need to look at what is broken and i can tell you that uh, for many years now i feel like uh, something that many people are somewhat aware of perhaps not necessarily speaking about uh, publicly and here i am but it's this whole idea of compassion is not something that one can learn. It's something that we all have. And whether we choose to use it or not is a conscious decision. Sometimes uh, we feel compassionate towards something because we know a person. Maybe we're related to a person. Maybe we suddenly feel scared that I might lose this person. And compassion does not need any of those reasons to just be to be compassionate. Now, to be compassionate from a non-judgmental space of, oh, this person's always complaining, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry that they're going through that, that's not compassion. And rather, if we move into a space of, I wish them well, I wish uh, that whatever suffering they're going through um, heals, that is compassion. And so they came across this next quotation which says, we become either agents of God's healing and liberating grace or carriers of the sickness of the world. Carriers of the sickness of the world. The carriers of the sickness of the world. The sickness is happening <clears throat> not only in healthcare, 
but also in all sorts of offices and all sorts of we see you whether it's road rage or this sickness I you know when I first started naturopathic medicine I had written an article for Vitality magazine which was all about hurry sickness and that was many years ago and we still have this hurry sickness now I do know that in North America it's very much hurry sickness of I get, got to get to work and got to beat the traffic and uh, then I got to deal with the traffic coming back and then I got to do this, 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 so there's this list of things to do and believe it or not, it's not so different in Indonesia and it's not so much the, the getting to work that is the biggest concern, although that is a concern depending on how far people live from their workplaces. But there's also this, this busyness, I've got to do this. So here there's lots of festivals and there's a lot of preparation in terms of making offerings for the festivals. There's the coordination of clothes, there's makeup, there's whether jewelry or hair or anything that uh, becomes so important that it, that's the rush. That seems to be quite a regular rush here that uh, in Bali there's again lots of festivals so there's lots of preparation and there's lots of coordination of uh, we've got to look like this as we all walk down the street and it's interesting because we get so caught up in that that there is not much compassion in terms of do I care about the people that I'm walking with do I care about the people who are creating the offerings with me do I care that is compassion and yet that is lost and similarly in North America or at least what I saw in Canada or I lived through in Canada is that there's such a busyness I just got to get this done then then I'll call my friend then I'll um, show some compassion and compassion is something that we can carry regardless of what's going on in life whether it's an occasion or not and we know that Christmas is coming up it's around the corner we know that uh, Black Friday sales are happening that uh, you know there's so much of this so I've got to finish my shopping I've got to uh, make sure I get the best deal and we know that people can get very uh, aggressive with each other even at malls or stores uh, to just get the last whatever and this could be in food or it could be in um, gifts but it happens and it happens every year and so here I don't see visually the aggression but I do see and feel that mental busyness so that is one thing and then I thought that since we're all going through something I love this prayer and this is certainly um, a type of message that I share with the world regularly through my own thoughts my words my actions and this is what it says it says grant me the grace to dissolve my negative thoughts about myself today I breathe the grace of kindness into my heart and may the grace of healing flow abundantly to everyone in need of help. Everyone in need of help. And guess what? Everyone is in need of some help. Some people need help financially. Some people need help physically. Some people need help emotionally. Some people need help in terms of career. Some people need help in terms of schooling. Some people, we know, there's so many things, so many different reasons that people could use help. And some people don't feel that they need any help and that's okay too and maybe these are the people that we have even more responsibility of if we don't need any help then let us grace the world with help and even a prayer like this this is by carolyn miss and every single person around us is in need of some help so if we can send out that sort of blessing it's not limited to oh please let me get better for whatever I'm suffering through but let the world benefit from this and that is such a, a broader perspective and awareness to have I again am very grateful for every single person who has uh, consciously uh, sent out messages to me and some people who have prayed for me and whichever way that any person can do this to help others and it's not about me it's literally about anyone that anyone you send out a, a blessing for regardless of whether you know what they need it's uh, we all need some help and so that's a beautiful space to come from and I came across this beautiful quotation it says be the person who breaks the cycle if you were judged choose understanding if you were rejected choose acceptance 
If you were shamed, choose compassion. Be the person you needed when you were hurting, not the person who hurt you. Vow to be better than what broke you, to be better than what, oh, to be better than what broke you, to heal instead of becoming bitter so that you can act from your heart, not from your pain. Act from your heart and not from your pain. And all of us have been hurt sometime, someplace, somewhere. And many of us aren't even conscious that we carry those sorts of things. And unless we consciously pay attention to that and help that heal, then we can't fully give up ourselves to anyone that we're interacting with. And don't wait for knowing that someone is not well to be able to send these blessings to everyone. And don't limit it to just your closest friends or just your family because everyone deserves these blessings. And this is a beautiful space to come from. I um, thought that I would uh, finish with one more quotation. And this last quotation is by Harbhajan Singh Yogi and it says, let your heart speak to others' hearts. Let your heart speak to others' hearts. I leave you with that quotation today. I hope you have a fantastic day or night ahead, and I hope you remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.